नमस्कार आई हैव वेरी ऑफन हर्ड दिस स्टेटमेंट ओ आई एम ओल्ड सो लिटिल बैक एक इज बाउंड टू बी देयर और नी पेन्स आर बाउंड टू बी देयर वेल नो नॉट एट ऑल डू यू थिंक ओल्ड एज मीन्स पेन्स एंड सफरिंग नो इट एट वॉट एज पेन एंड सफरिंग इज नॉट देयर इन चाइल्ड हुड लॉट्स ऑफ पेन एंड सफरिंग इज देयर पुअर चाइल्ड गेट्स कोल्ड एंड कॉप सो वेरी ऑफन वॉमिटिंग दिस दैट यंग एज लॉट्स ऑफ इमोशनल पेन एंड सफरिंग इज देयर फिजिकली ऑल्सो एक्सीडेंट्स एंड सच थिंग्स हैपन मिडल एज ऑल दीज डिजीजेज स्टार्ट यू नो ब्लड प्रेशर हार्ट एंड डायबिटीज एंड ऑल दो स्टार्ट एंड मेनोपॉज इन लेडीज एंड सो ऑन सो फॉर विच एज यू विल टेल देर इज नो पेन एंड सफरिंग pain and suffering is going to be there because where body is there some or other problems are going to be there but yoga says that if you do know how to manage you will not have any pain any problem you can always prevent the problem because you are living a correct way of living you are listening to your body language and functioning accordingly then why should there be any pain no pain at all and what do you call as old age just understand according to us the definition of old person means a person who is continuously thinking about past i did this and i did that and past and not functioning well in present he is old second a person who is not adjusting in life little adjusting capacity don't put glass this way put glass that way now what is there adjust don't talk here talk there and just but no you don't want to then you are going to get old old third that if person thinks that he knows everything he doesn't need to learn anything more when learning stop deterioration starts starts old age begins so these are the ways in which we could judge who is old and who is young person should be always freshly feeling every day enthusiastic joyful and so on in life and yoga way of life is telling you how to live as after 50 as we grow we should learn to little bit start giving responsibility to the younger generation and go little away from that for some time and when younger generation needs your help definitely help them out so that you make them uh, more capable but holding on to your position and not retiring is a very wrong concept we should learn to retire we should learn to leave we should learn to leave to the younger one and do something which is more meaningful in our life and so one is definitely going here and there traveling traveling makes us humble humble knowledgeable and uh, it really makes us to come back to our roots we are very close to nature so we get more and more strength from nature in traveling we learn to relax we learn to let go we bring vairagya all this happens in traveling adjusting capacity goes to a tremendous level when we are traveling so all these natural progress happens going here and there sitting at one place peacefully with nature all that is very important and for health your every part needs attention now till 50 years you are running around here and there body went through lots of changes in woman's body so many changes occur also you had no time to attend but now you have a duty to attend to yourself there are certain asanas which you should do regularly this philosophy you should always keep in mind that never behave in different way and then take charge of yourself now for our body and mind and emotions we need to do certain things person must come to the path of yoga how to live how to take care of your body mind what should be goal and purpose of life person must understand this but today i am going to show you some asanas which i have no side effects nobody will get hurt because of these asanas they are most safe to perform and so let's do some asanas uh, christina let's do lying down variations of some asanas first and foremost is stretching your whole body attending to every joint and so here while breathing in you are raising your both arms up and stretching your toes out you now here 
whole body is getting as if exercise and you are loosening up that stiff joints which is very important come back <coughs> second variation uh, second asana is hastapadangusthasan first straight up your hand up and try to hold the toe you can't hold the toe bring your legs as up as possible and come back to normal position and you can do with the other side third variation take your leg to the side right leg on the right side left on the left side so first right variation stretch your both arms on the side take your right leg to right side if you can hold very fine keep your head straight stay there so you are really giving exercise to your lower abdomen lower back come back fourth variation right to left left to right so left leg is coming to right side so this is a cross variation you are looking on the opposite side and trying to keep your leg as straight as possible so this would be another variation all this would help your back your kidney your liver your intestines all these things would be really exercised and they would be free from stress and tension fifth is pavan muktasan hold your leg and bring it to your stomach and give little compression in yoga we believe a lot in seeing that the spine is exercised and abdomen is given some compression in tri abdominal compression so here it is done like that and this would be wonderful and then you can do with both legs but both legs there are limitation uh, those with any health problem should not do with both legs and then comes pranayam number 4 fold your legs in this position now whenever you are tired running around here and there working we should be working all the time we should be totally self reliant all the time whatever work you can do you should be eager to do that and then <clears throat> do your abdominal movement so breathe in your stomach comes up breathe out your stomach goes down this we should do very often in a day Uh, whenever you get a chance to lie down you should lie down in this position and you should lie down every 2 hour i believe that you should lie down for 5 minutes and do this that would really do good and uh, thanks christina and then what happens is walking is supposed to be best and mildest exercise which you should be doing sitting in sun taking sun on your body you should be taking whenever sun is possible you take sun on your body if you could see rising sun you should look at rising sun that orange red ball which is coming up and setting sun so these are all healthy habits healthy routines and when our routines are healthy our health also would be healthy so keep all this in mind bring this concept of doing your duty with best of your capacity dharma and when you go on doing your duty you automatically get more and more knowledge of life and then as you get more and more knowledge you get into little detached state you know that world is not in your hand what is in your hand is you and your own mind and your body so with all other activities outside you you are there but you are little detached vairagya and when you bring this concept in your personality then comes a state which is called as aishwarya confident capacity of facing any situation without getting disturb so a mature person or a senior citizen should never ever get disturbed or worry or get tensed or have fear never you should always understand that problems come and go you don't have to worry and have faith in high reality that everything would be good everything would be nice so keep all this in mind take care and spend some time with yourself that is your first duty and whatever you can do for other society definitely do it so all the best namaskar